Hi guys, my name is Grace and I'm here with Arizona Project WET to show you how to take heat monitoring data for your newly installed rainwater basins. Um, so you're only going to need a few things to take these data points. One is going to be our um, heat monitoring data sheet. You can access this either online through a Google form using a handheld device, or if you don't have access to a handheld device, you can print out a data sheet that we have available as well. Um, if you're using this, you're just going to take your data when you're outside and write it down. And once you get back inside, you can input it on your computer and get our Google form from there. And you're also gonna need this IR thermometer, and that's what you're gonna use to take those data points for the temperature on the ground. So we're here now at this wonderful basin we've been monitoring for a few weeks now and I'm going to run you through how to use the data form and what information you're going to need to input. So first I'm going to take the dates the measurements were taken um, and input that in. So it's the 16th of August and then we're going to do the time measurements that we were taking these data points in. So that's going to be 10 a.m. Um, you're going to input your initials just so we know who's going to be on this data sheet. You don't have to put your full name and then the location street address and the zip code as well. So this next page is going to be our weather data where we are going to be adding um, the temperature data from the nearest weather station. So that's going to change dependent on where you're at and where the closest weather station is. There's a link in there where you can access um, your current location and then the get the most accurate weather conditions. So on the link, they have a map that you can click on and find your cross streets and then it'll have uh, markers to where the closest weather stations are and you can zoom in to see where you're at and what the closest location is. Right now it's on scene and it's looking like it's gonna be 75 degrees and partly cloudy right now. So I'm gonna input that into our data sheet. So this next page is going to be your location one data form. Um, you're going to first describe the location that you're in. And so right now I would say we're in the Northwest Basin of the Watershed Management Group. So that's what I'm gonna put in on the first um, question. The next question is going to ask if your location is in the sun or in the shade. Um, and since it is a cloudy day, our location is in the shade and so I'm gonna mark that and then the next question will ask what that shade is coming from and since it is the clouds I'll put that in which is an option that is on um, already preset but if you do find that your shade is coming from something that isn't a preset answer you can click other and then input whatever that shade is coming from so the next question is what your type of surface is and here we have mulch um, so I will put that in it's a natural matter mulch or wood chip mulch um, and so that will be the answer to the next question perfect so then the next page is going to be our temperature data and this is where we're actually starting to take the temperature with our IR thermometer so I'll run you through how to do that properly and get the most accurate data for it cool so before we take our temperature data I want to show you how to properly use this IR thermometer so we can accurately get the data for your rainwater basin so the parts you're going to see on this thermometer is the screen that's going to show you the temperature that you're measuring. You're going to see this trigger that you'll end up pushing to get the um, temperature reading. And then there's also going to be a laser that points from here that's going to show you what you're reading um, when you point your thermometer down. So what you're going to want to do then is take your IR thermometer, hold it at wa waist high length, and then you're going to want to point it towards whatever surface you want to measure. And that laser will point down once you pull the trigger and show you what exactly you are measuring so you can get an accurate description of the surface. Um, so you'll hold it down for about two seconds and see what the um, temperature shows on the screen and it'll show you what you measured down here. So this mulch that I measured was 83.1 degrees and it's set in Fahrenheit so we can understand the data a little bit better. So I'm going to actually take data on this rainwater basin right now to show you guys a little bit of how I do it. So I'm going to take my IR thermometer, hold it waist height distance from the ground, press it down, and I see that I have 82.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go to the Google form sheet that we were working on previously and input that in. So I'm putting in 82.5. I'm going to take a couple steps to get an accurate, more accurate description of what the full basin is like. Do another monitor um, reading and it'll say 84.7. And then I'm going to do my last one, go a little bit further, take another reading. 
and we see 83.3. So after I inputted all three of those temperatures, it's going to ask if you took any more temperature readings for this address at a different location. So say I wanted to go to maybe a sunnier spot or a different basin, I can do it all in the same form so I don't have to input all the same information again that I did at the beginning. Um, so for right now, I'm just going to press no because this is all we're doing and then press next and it'll submit the form and we are all set to go.